It's moving day. It's moving day. It's moving day. Someone's ready to move. Look at them. Are you ready to move? Ready to be a Londoner? Get on the tube. On the tube. On the tube. Moon on the tube. Officially moving day. Um, it's actually quite late in the afternoon. Things have not gone as smoothly as planned. I didn't think that it would, but um, yeah, we've kind of been packing up the house for a while now, and it's still a complete mess. Definitely underestimated the amount of things I have to pack, but we're getting there. The sofa's gone, the table's gone, all the big stuff is pretty much in the van and done now, so we're nearly there, we're nearly there. Feels so weird to be seeing this place without furniture in. It's been three years I've lived here now, three and a half years, and I haven't seen it this empty since then. There we go. You good girl. Yes, you are. Yeah. Good girl, good girl. There she is. All packed up. Look at the mattress. We had to fold it in half like a little pastry or something. But yeah, everything's in. <sighs> Time to go. You ready for the noise? You're stuck in the back. your home. This is your new home. What do you found in here? I don't no, I don't want to go in here. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Come in. <laughs> Everything is in now. We are both exhausted so I've just made this little temporary bed set up literally by chucking the mattress on the floor. I think that's quite crazy. We've got a little lamp here too. The only lamp that I've actually actually managed to unpack and find. Um, yeah, so it's definitely bedtime for us. It's a lot later than we thought it would be. Good night, everyone. <laughs>
just turned up at my door from Marc Jacobs apparently. Look at these gorgeous flowers. These are my favourite. These tiny little daisies. I don't actually know what they're called but I love them. I had to find a vase to put these in. Uh, a vase somewhere in this massive pile. Oh, there is so much unpacking to do. I think there's also some bits inside here too. Ooh, yes. This is all from the Marc Jacobs Daisy range. Wow. I don't know if this is new. Let's read the card. So this is the brand new Daisy Sunshine edition. That sounds something that's going to be right up my street. I don't really have anywhere to spray this, but... Ooh, that. That is so nice. It's kind of like Daisy as I know it. I remember it, but it's a bit more fruity and a bit more kind of, I don't know, bright and nice. I really, really like that. It's cute. So thank you, Mark Jacobs. I'm going to go and put these somewhere now. Uh, these are the first flowers I've had in this house. So a little update today, uh, last night was our second night in the house. We also had to do a second trip uh, back to empty out the rest of my place. Um, but everything is in now. We were both exhausted. My arm actually aches so much I can barely hold up the camera. But we're in, everything is here. Uh, Joe's at work today because it's Monday and I have been tasked with making a dent in uh, some of this stuff. So priorities i've managed to get the tv up and get friends on of course that was uh, an essential we also managed to clear out the garden yesterday so there was um i think i showed you some bits and things left over uh they're all gone now had to take the table apart in the middle of the night to get it in so i need to fix that up today i also managed to get some fairy lights up which i think is going to look really cozy later on tonight all my little plants are there now i would go outside and show you but it's so cold today even though the sky is really blue and sunny uh but it is freezing so i will be staying inside someone has found themselves a very cozy looking spot she's been so good she uh i thought she'd be really kind of like stressed out and not sure of where she was but she's been such a good girl she's settling in very well aren't you yes you are and uh just loafing away on the middle of the bed right now it's the middle of the day moon <laughs> setup but for now it will do i'm just sitting in the bedroom on my mattress which is uh still on the floor oh am i interrupting your nap i'm sorry so yesterday we went to ikea very briefly uh we had about half an hour to whiz around grab what we needed and leave there were a few big things on our list that we needed to pick up but while i was there i got very distracted by some smaller less important but equally nice things so i actually came away with a bag full of ikea homey bits just some small little things some decorative pieces and i thought i would show you guys because i found some really cool stuff let's start with this little vase uh which i love i'm really into kind of glassware and stoneware at the moment and there's a few little places around little spots that are open that i think could look really cool with some nice little bits like that on them uh so this one really appealed to me it's like this smoky gray glass I like the shape of this too, I think it's really cool and uh, yeah, the colour I really like. I also got this pot, which I think is going to look really cool with a little vase. This one is really big and it was really inexpensive actually. I love the colour of this one again, it's like a kind of sage green um, and the detail on this is really cool. It's like mottled and sort of cracked but in a way it's supposed to be. Uh, yeah, I really like the shape of that, I think it's just another cool little stoneware piece as you guys have probably already seen from uh from the little clips that i've shown you there are quite a few plants around the house more plants than people right now and i i love a house plant i do there are a few spots in the house though that don't get a lot of natural light so the bathroom which i'm looking at right now it doesn't have a window in it uh, and it doesn't get any daylight but i think it would look really nice with a plant in it so i saw this this actually came as two there's a pot which i've just noticed is chipped Oh, that's frustrating. It's okay. I'll turn it around. That can be the back. A little pot and then this little fedchka, uh, which is an artificial plant. And I haven't ever, I don't think, had any fake plants or fake flowers because I don't know how I feel about them. But uh, I like this one. I think it looks kind of 
real realistic ish and i love a hanging plant so anything hanging like this one here i just it's my jam i'm gonna pop this one in the bathroom i think and see how it looks and see if it doesn't bother me too much that it isn't real but i thought that was kind of cool especially for places like our bathroom here that don't uh have any windows and don't get any sunlight and aren't the best spot for real plants also, I got one of these uh, little jars. I think these are actually supposed to be for things like coffee, tea, uh, kitchen stuff, which um, I might use them for, although I do already have some nice kind of simple plain um, coffee and tea holders. But the thing I liked about this so much was the color. It's this amazing like pinkish neutral clay color. It's so nice. The lid is kind of wooden, but I was thinking of taking the lid off and actually just using this as a, a vase or something like that. It's got this really nice like matte finish to it so I thought that was a cool idea I might use it in the kitchen I might use it as a plant or a vase and then I got one of these baskets too I actually have one of these already but it's uh, currently housing all of Moon's toys so I thought I would get a second one uh, these are really great for storage just chucking pretty much anything in them they're seagrass baskets I think seagrass wicker baskets so if you're searching for them that's what they're called I remember I was trying to find out the name for so so long um, because they're kind of hard to get hold of but now that Ikea do them and I think this was £10 something like that that's amazing. It's a really nice size. It's not a huge one, um, but it's not small either. And I think I'll probably keep this one maybe by the bed, put some pillows in it, some um, blankets, or even use it as a planter. Also got some very basic but essential bits. I have a couple of these already, and they are so, so handy for kitchen storage. They're just these, like, plastic trays with little handles in, but I uh, pop these in my cupboards and kind of separate everything by sections and it makes things so much easier to find so i have one full of spices and herbs and things like that i have one full of uh rices and pasta i thought a couple more would be really handy just so i can really really organize the cupboards here i also use my label maker um just to kind of pop the name of what should be on there um, and it just makes life so much more simple so i picked up a couple more of those because they are so handy more organization here this is actually um for my office when i get around to setting up my desk I don't like to have um, too much clutter and things out on my desk, but I do end up just putting things down and needing to kind of have papers and stuff like that there. So I saw these, there's a few couple of designs. Some of them have like two stacks, some of them have spaces to put bigger things. Um, but I really like the look of this one. It's just a very simple black wire tray with a little bit of a cork bottom to it. I like the color combination of those two. There's also um, some little separators, I think, that kind of split everything up if you want it to and I do think this also has handles too. I need to kind of set this up a little bit but I thought that was going to be a cool thing to have in the office. We did pick up a bedside table lamp which I will show you. We got some bedside tables too but uh, they are in a box right now and I do not have the time or the energy to start assembling them especially as the bed isn't even here. This lamp though I think is so cool doesn't have a bulb in it right now. I actually have the bulb here somewhere. Here it is. It's one of those like filament style bulbs. They look really cool. But uh, this is what the actual lamp looks like. It's kind of this big sphere and it's in that frosty kind of smoky gray glass, which I love. I think it's so, so nice. There were a whole wall of these on um, in the store and I just kind of fell in love with it and I thought that'd be perfect to have as a nice warm, cozy bedside lamp. So I only got one of these. We also have another bedside lamp that's going to go on the wall that's a bit brighter so like a reading light but this one i think would be nice just for chilling out watching tv something like that so yeah i'm really happy with this again this one was so inexpensive and it's uh just a really cool lamp so i'm excited to get that set up once i actually have a bedside table to put it on and uh yeah that's everything that i picked up i just wanted to show you guys that before i start putting it everywhere and lose track of what i got so it's about midday now and i have a i actually have a video to get up it's the first time I'll be uploading from here, so I'm kind of interested to see what the internet is going to be like for that. So I'm going to end the vlog now and leave you guys here for today. I hope you enjoyed watching us move. That is it for me for now, and I will see you all soon. Bye.